Got Aurora and her 26 followers. Taking on Sask Berta. Might have a few more followers by now. I think after they're showing, getting into this playoff game, definitely worth it. Bear with me one sec. I'm going to try and uh, connect to my phone because the internet seems to be out again. See how many names I remember from yesterday. And especially now that everyone's had a chance to trade more jerseys right. as well. Lost that's jerseys. <laughs> Doesn't make it any more difficult. Or we or just play in a black shirt with no name on it. Oh, almost a catch there. In and out. I think that's that was fair. If it wasn't, I apologize. There, uh, yeah, she's on now. She's on Aurora. I think she still might be on the court, though. Oh, big catch there. Uh, I, I want to say yes. <laughs> we'll figure it out yeah. as we go. <laughs> um, again, if uh, we don't know your name, we're very sorry, but come up, introduce yourself, say hi. We don't bite. We showered. I showered twice. Hey, show off. So it's just the two players left now for Aurora, and it looks like Sasperta still has all six players left on the court. Two balls in hand. Aurora needs to take a shot going in between Schmigelski and Nahirni. Uh, Sa Team Sasperta coming in as uh, a favorite, probably, after their show yesterday. Pop up into the jaw from that block on the throw from Schmigelski there. Fair psyching them out. Going for the catch. Doesn't quite connect. And they reset. So first point on the board is going to go to Team Sasperta. And on the sidelines, the uh, young uh, Ashley Ben Jr. In a, a little jersey that says Shagger. Aww. I'm on one of those. We'll get you a vinyl press. <laughs> Next go tournament, we'll get we'll get jerseys like that, and you can shag for Apex, or you can play. Oh, well, maybe I'll play. Yeah. Yes. Every day is gravy when you're my age. <laughs> There's so many jokes that I'm not gonna make on stream, but I want to. Oh, big catch there by I think that's Janko. Yes, you're right. It is Janko. As the ball rolls down the line and back over to the Sasperta side. And more balls being thrown Another out Another big catch. Who do you think that was? That's Sarah Hughes, I remember from yesterday. Yes. This is fun. It's the a fun little memory breaks. test. Mm, that one goes in the legs there. What do we call that, a soul, soul taker? Soul Stealer. Soul Stealer. <laughs> and I think that was Amanda Hoppenbrewers. It's just Miguel she left now for Team Sasperta. Ooh. Oh! So it yep. was a hit. I think so she it, was hit. Yep. Yeah, so it was a, a catch and then a hit. Uh, so the second ball did hit her, but I think uh, she had thought she blocked that one, but the refs do call it out. So we just have, and I know this one now, Mary Dennis left. Right. Nice duck out of the way there. We're seeing so far the importance of, of catches. I love the coordination between uh, Jenko and her teammate there playing in the wing position. It was a nice block off that throw from Dennis. I think it is uh, Christy White.
Yeah, it seems like they're doing um, what's called a pendulum. So the, the side that... Oh, no, sorry. That was uh, Desiree Goyette. My apologies. Just Mary Dennis left now. Still trying to take out those Aurora players. <laughs> Maybe in thought the toes. she was closer to the back yeah, line. Yeah, she then. really did. But she stayed in, so we're good. Calling for that third ball, holding it, taking the shot. Going after Hughes. Double shot return fire. Very cautious of the back line, but not anywhere close to it. And that's when you're relying on your, your teammates to let you know how close you are. shouting strategy but three balls and one it looks like uh, the definitely the second one got her that so. was the Hoppin Brewers throw up uh, high. one one right now so Aurora versus Sasperta they are tied up and again I, I expect to see more more catches today as arms are tiring uh, balls are getting softer Don't make it dirty. Too late. And it's up and it's a team catch. Brenner Bourget gets that team. The person wearing the Brenner Bourget jersey gets that team catch for team for uh, Sasport there. I think that's Jeffries. Let's go Jeffries. It's either right or wrong. Got clipped in the ear off of that throw. I believe that was Janko that did that one. Four balls in hand now, coming up to the line. Mary Dennis in the center, takes oh, a shot, gets a catch. That was fair, fair enough. It's gonna bring in another player now for Aurora. Four balls, five balls in hand for all five players on the team, sending two over, bringing one back over to the wing. That's gonna give it to Hughes. They still have that player advantage though, so the shot clock is gonna go back to Aurora. You can hear them counting it down. Ooh, right on the one, sending just, the center ball over. That's going to give four now to Sasperta. Burden to throw, counting them down. Hey, Coppin Brewers clipped out on, on uh, one of those throws. Ooh, there. They were in catching position, got down nice and low. Unfortunately, wasn't able to make it in time, and that was Cowshell. Four balls now. Shmigelski makes the play call. Goes for Janko. Ooh. Double tap as Janko was going for the catch there. Shmigelski retreats to the back line. Morse is holding it at the attack. Brings that one ball over. It's going to give two for Sasperta. Still burden to throw from Aurora, and they sent two over. That's going to give four balls now, so one in each hand for the two players left from Sasperta. Hughes gets out of the way of those two shots. We've seen that cross court a few times uh, already from Sh <laughs> Shemelski. making the play call. A little bit wide on that one, but her second ball gets sent over and takes out Fair in the shoulder as she gets down on the ground, slides out of the way, getting nice and low. Great strategic move there. Aurora really um, relying on catching here. Really going for anything in that uh, catching zone. But uh, this round maybe not reeling them in. Nice jump there for Morse. Four balls in hand now. Schmigelsi makes the play call. And that takes out Hughes and then a second one right in the knee. She 
distance. Both of those balls over. Another point now on the board for Sasquerta. Connecting the, the, the third time with that, that cross court on Hughes. Very conservative off the rush. Not seen too many uh, throws off the rush. And they're slowing down just a little bit. Janko gets uh, clipped out. I don't know if, if you're Aurora, maybe you're, you're a bit too reliant on, on catches at this this moment. Maybe I you want to throw some, some movement in there and get ball control. I think uh, a little bit more rush to the line and a lot more counters would really help the Aurora team right now. I think they just need to put a little bit more pressure on the Sasperta team because right. Sasperta is getting them on the counters. So a faster rush on the retreat, trying to stare them down, psych them out a little bit more, especially the way like Dennis just covered Kashal there to get that ball so they can uh, take the shot clock back. You gotta keep them honest, as they say. The pressure. Pashal with a very uh, unique delivery, kind of like right over, over the head. Impressive shot there by Kasha. There's three players left now for Aurora. Five balls. They got one in the middle. And it's going to be a send from the wing there. And oh, Schmigelsi is trying to go for that catch. Doesn't make it. She's telling him where the balls are. She Looks like they've got all. Six balls, but there's five. Oh, now, now, they, six. now they have six. Well, they traded one back, though. There is that tendency when the, when you have one ball on your side, you get, you get a little antsy and maybe... It's pretty hard to hang on to it. Ooh. Speaking of. Yeah. She's three balls. Looked like she had her hands behind her back trying you to get a ball. You can hear them telling a rush from the sidelines, stay up there. Looks like they're gonna... And that was a trade-off. I thought there was... I thought they were going to get ready for a catch, but uh, just sniped her out as she was going to throw the shot clock and counting down. Whoa! You can clip that. Point blank, caught it between the forearms. Nice. Right into uh, Ben McGillicuddy, the <laughs> shagger. Yeah, I'm just, I'm obsessed with these tie-dye shagger <laughs> shirts. Big block Ooh, up. Oh, nearly a double there. Yeah, she almost went for that team catch, but you know what, I like the fact that stopped at the last second, had a ball in hand don't think they would have been able to control it. So instead of just a double out, it was one. Going in between the wing and the guard position there. Yeah, Aurora coming out much more aggressive in this, uh, this round. It's a four on three right now. Aurora with that burden to throw, counting that shot clock. Blocked by Dennis, goes into Campbell. He fumbles it. He's uh, wearing that Shagger jersey on the other side. And it goes over to the Aurora team. Nice catch from Fair. Catching a hit, but it works out for Aurora. So I was just distracted by someone's adorable baby. Yeah, we really past. were. <laughs> <laughs> Who's baby that? Nice dodging by Hughes. 
huge block up there going for Smigowski. Counter shot there from Hoffenbrewers. Takes her out in the knees. Just Dennis left again. Sasberta still winning with three to one. Ooh. And ooh, Dennis gets clipped out. Aurora closes the gap with two points. It was a great uh, round by Aurora. I think and that big catch off the rush was a big momentum. And swing. we're going to start this round in no blocking. Ooh, all right. Yes, I said it right. All right. They do get the one hit, but they did a good job of baiting all, all the balls now. Mm -hmm. I think a bit more of a, a cautious game, but still doing a great Ooh, job. Oh, double. down in the knees right into Morris. That's got to... Oh. And the ball rolls back to their side. Dennis going out in the ankle now. Aurora coming in strong. They're really bringing the heat for this. Schmigelski in the shoulder. Aurora just slowly working their way down the lineup. They are going to probably take this point. There is a good chance for uh, a couple catches there. Like right. a lot of uh, both... Both of those players are really strong. Oh, but, good you can't catches, block. but she blocked. It's no blocking. Totally <laughs> forgot. Like, no. Just, and then I'm just gonna carry on. Followed up with a hit on Nahir Nisa. So that is gonna close that out. End of the first half. It is a 3-3 tie for Sasquatch. Nice. Finally poised. Taking on Aurora and their 26 followers. They deserve hundreds of followers after that performance. Agreed. So it'll be interesting. <clears throat> this next round, probably like big for momentum going into the second half. If Aurora can capture this round, they'll be feeling pretty confident. But they're up against very capable uh, Sasberta team. A lot of experience on that side of the court. Yeah, a huge shout out to our sponsors, real quick. Well Shot. Not a catch, but a decent block from the player there. Right in between the two, they are good to go. I believe that's Goyette and White. Nope, Rewicki. Rewicki? Rewicki. Rewicki with had that big uh, catch off the rush in the first half. Oh, Schmigelski goes for it. A little bit reachy on that one, but uh, pops off the sticky yeah, They're really targeting uh, Schmigelski. Yes. Schmigelski. 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 I'm sorry, I'm Welsh. All right, Aurora play call being, or shot clock being counted down for them. Return fire now. Four balls in hand. Three players left. Sasperta needs to, Sasperta needs to throw. Yeah. Oh, double tap on the ankles there. They had that number. Four players left. Nice counter. Come, well, they're coming up to the rush. Takes a, a bit of a pump fake there. Would have been great if they had taken a couple steps up to pump fake. That way, even if they they made her she made herself a target. Her other two teammates could have top thrown at her. Pop off the block. That says Berta willing down the numbers now. We're, we're uh, three apiece. Three apiece on the scoreboard and three apiece on the court as Hughes is eliminated. Really, still anyone's game, obviously. Got, um, a, lot of, a 
A lot of capable catchers left on the court. Nothing swings it more than a catch. Just two now left for Aurora against the three for Sasperta. A little bit distracted watching those plays. Nice block by Janko right up into the stands. Doesn't manage to connect with either of us. I was so ready to catch that. I had my coffee in a very dangerous position. Lesson learned. Oh! Nice sliding It was, it was the right idea following up like that. It was unsighted, but again, sometimes when you're not ready is when you make that catch. Nahirni had it and then takes out Goyet. Or, sorry, Dewicki. Ruwicki. Ruwicki. Oh, my God. Speaking of coffee. See, Ruwicki, I can say no problem. All right, we've got about 11 minutes left now in the second half. We are watching a couple longer games today. Um, after this one, we're going to see the men's semifinal two, then uh, women's gold and men's gold on the stream, Ooh. and then we'll watch the mixed competitive. And then we're going to go to the limelight and get drunk. Some of us might. Well, that is where the after party is. So right. I'm going to go home and drink peppermint tea, but I encourage everyone here to, to tie one on for me. I want to hang out with the cool kids. <laughs> Whether or not they want to hang out with me, though, we'll see. <laughs> Working it out. Whatever's I happening right now. I think when the whistle was blown, um, they had thrown after the whistle, so they're returning the balls that Sasperta had, giving them back to Aurora. Oh, <laughs> another catch by Nahirni. Yeah, but she gets hit out in the hair afterwards, though. So it is going to bring someone back in, but it is uh, going to eliminate them. Ooh, sidewinder follow up on Schmigelski there. She gets hit out. Yeah, they really uh, target. Yep. That seems to be their number one target for good they reason. They like her. They really like her. A little bit of a loss of footing there as they're going for the wing position on the right-hand side, left-hand side. For Aurora. Nope. Sasperta. Uh, Is that a catch by Dennis? I think so, yeah, because it looks like Schmigelski's coming back on. It was McKierney who was first off, so... Uh, Schmigelski needed to talk it out real quick. Coming out now is just the three players left for Aurora. Sasperta has four points now, so they have slowly taken back that lead as we are nine and a half minutes into the second half. Four balls in hand, shot clock being counted down, going nice. for the wing. Shot on the shin. Yeah. Yeah, this is a big round, like a 5-3 a lead with, uh, with time winding down is, is uh, not insurmountable, but a big ask. Tosho calling herself out there, number 2v2. Appreciate the honesty. So we get into that 2v2, ready to take that shot. Ooh, nice follow-up. Just more snow left. Morse with the, the mismatched fun socks. Nice block from Fair. And two cent retreats back, but does confirm there was a hit. There you go. 4 4. Really impossible to call at this at this point. I think uh, we might see the tiebreaker in no blocking. No guarantees, but right. uh, that's going to be my prediction. How far over can those balls be? Yeah, I don't know. Not that far. When you let the other team set up the balls for you, that, that's going to happen. Let other teams touch your balls, what can we say? <laughs> A 
Aurora, burden to throw, going for the wing, wing player. Dodges gets out of the way, goes into another court. So while they scramble to look for that one, Burden will still be on Sasquarta. They have four, but only three in hand. Might have potentially had a line out. I don't think the ref saw it, though. And uh, Schmelz Schmigelski. Schmigelski uh, catching Hoppen Brewers off guard there. Ooh, nice big block up from Hughes off that throw from Schmigelski. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go to the limelight because I'm gonna go home and practicing Schmagelski. I'm ready for next year. Schmagelski. Yeah. Almost kind of sounds like Sophia can say after someone sneezes. Mm. Trade there. Janko coming up to the line. Nice pump fakes from Janko. Five players left for Sasberta coming up to the line. Taking those shots. Going for Janko. Janko gets out of the way as they send two over. That's going to give that shot clock to them. Boyette takes a shot and then retreats as she just barely misses one going past her shoulders into the stands. Shout out to Megan McEwen uh, retrieving that ball. Oh yeah, Paying that no was mind to her safety. Uh, you know, ball retrieving is, a, is a, an art form. I think you get more steps in than you do actually play. No, no, no. All right, just uh, Hughes and Janko left now for Aurora. Ooh, Mary catch. Dennis with a big catch. There's no one to be brought in on the Sasperna side, though. And that was a full send to take that point. That's going to even it out now to five versus four with five and a half minutes left. Who's Going taking this faster. round? I think, um, yeah. I have, I have no stake in this, but I'd, I'd like to see Aurora take this round, and I'd like to see the, the tiebreaker. Oh, she did it again! Clip that. Playing back-to-back -back with the, the first half catch. I wonder if she practices that. Sometimes you're, you're, you're maybe you're too close to your target and, and uh, it makes it easier for them to catch. That's a hit in the ear. On uh, White. A lot of footwork coming from the Sasquatch side. Ooh, oh, almost really. Schmigelski gets a catch. Hoppen Brewers is going for a catch, but unfortunately she lost control of it. It's been a... Uh, Work its way down now to a two send over to just the three players left on the Aurora side. Aurora with five balls in hand. Pardon me, four balls. We need to take that shot. Clock's counting it down, sending one. And we lost that Ru is, yeah. Wiki there. Um. Schmielski making the play call. Goes for Hughes, but Hughes lines out. If you're fair here, you have to go for a catch. Fair's got the potential to catch. Uh, full send, though. They're really trying to close out that point. You know, and that's the, the perfect time is when there's one player left. You can afford a full send. 6v4 now. Let's see if Aurora can, can uh, win around qu quick, fast enough that they can... Uh, have time to tie it. Okay, you see on the Sasperta side, their rush, um, that ball's getting cleared very quickly and she's right up at the line throwing that ball. Oh, 
little unlucky there. We lost three players. Yeah. Was not expecting that. It's Still a real uh, uphill battle now for Aurora. All six left on the Sasperta side, too. McEwen gets that ball sent to her. She sends it to uh, Rewicki, who fortunately lost control of it. Hughes takes a shot. Hughes, no balls in hand. Bit of a, a risky shot there, considering Sasperta actually had that burden to throw. Play call being made by Kashal. One for Rewicki. Rewicki with a nice, clean block down. Able to get that fourth ball now for the Aurora team. Sasperta right up on the attack line, though, not giving Another them a Another catch by Dennis. Dennis tries to do it again, but uh, Hughes takes her out. Just Hughes now left. And Schmigelski blocks, returns, fire, and gets her on the toes. So that's a... So that should, uh, just about do it. We'll play minute out 30 the left, minute yeah. 30. Great close competitive match. Mm -hmm. uh, Sasperta pulling away at the end. Some big catches. So this is the... Uh, Quarterfinals match for these two teams. Some one of them, one of them will be moving on. And the other one's gonna start drinking early. That's very early. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I guess that's why the mimosa was invented. It is Sunday brunch day. Right. All right, just five now left for Aurora, getting that ball from the opposite court. Up, up, up. Oh, nice there you team go. catch. Ooh. And then we lost Ruwicki. <laughs> that was a double tap. <laughs> Goyette got it and uh, goes into Ruwicki, and Ruwicki gets a double tap. Catch is good, though. Whoa, what a snag by Fair. That's what I'm talking about. Just a Knee level. Brings it right in while holding a ball. Catches it on her knee, not even anywhere in the bread basket. That's that's a clip for sure. Five balls, sending one over from Schmigelski's hand. So her, Nahirni, and one other player left for Sasberta. In the toes. That's going to end that one. It's uh, seven to four. So Team Sasperta takes it against Aurora and their 26 followers. You know what? They earned a follower in me. I don't know how to follow them. Uh, uh, they earned a follower in me too. There you go. Uh, coming up next, we've got a men's semifinal match. Uh, we don't know who is playing each other yet. As soon as we get an update on that, we will let you know. So stay tuned. It's going to be good.